We've got chaos. A little bit, yeah. A little bit of chaos. We've got an explosive amount of chaos. <gasps> I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. I got the, I got the jokes. Hello! Welcome hi, to hi. this week's episode of Jared Now Watch Shirabako. It is episode number six. I'm Jared, that is Doc Howley and Ladium. Hello. And we're here to discuss episode number six, entitled Eat Upon Miyamori on the Move. Because she's going to be on the move a lot. <laughs> a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, last time, we learned at the very end of the episode that the, the explosion that... Uh, culminates with episode eight the the episode eight explosion scene still has not been finalized mm -hmm. and now there's another bad caveat that has been added to that and that is that the episode nine explosion has been finished with key animation yep which is not good yeah because they have to match they have to match and as of right now they completely don't because there has not been a decision made on how they're going to finish up episode eight or not which is not good. No. Uh, also, at the end of the last episode, uh, Ryosuke saw the 3D version of the scene because mm -hmm. he had Aoi show it to him. However, despite seeing it, he is still not coming back. He thinks that, you know, they're too far gone. He's he's already, you know, missed all this time, that they should just do this. Whatever. I'm, I'm not... I'm not going to be here. Also, he's still mad at Taro because he's being a dum-dum. <laughs> And they also have not told uh, Honda about this entire situation yet. Is he still locked in the cage at this point? The, that's the director. Oh, sorry. Honda is the one who locked him in the cage. Right. Honda is the like guy mm -hmm. that is second in command. Right. He's like the main producer. But is the director in the cage still? Yes. <laughs> okay. Just checking. Um. So, yeah, they finally go off to tell him. And he's like, why didn't you tell me this? And I was just like, well, I, I was going to. He's like, he's like, not talking to you, talking to him. <laughs> and he points out Taro, who's like hiding behind the door. And he's like, uh, well, you had so much on your plate with the director. I couldn't bother you. And he's like, mm. so they, he goes off to tell the director. And then he learns that the director has flown the coop. Ah, so he's escaped from the cage. He has escaped from the cage. And he's gone off to go see, record, see a dubbing session. I, for, I was trying to remember when he got out of the cage. He, he is out of the cage now. Coming out of my cage and I'm doing just fine. <laughs> uh, which is funny because like they, he comes in and he's like, oh, hello everyone. They're like, oh, you got the storyboards done. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> uh. And then like one of, the other, one of the other producers gets a phone call and they're like, oh, you've, you, uh, you left your, your, your holding, did you? And he's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, while all this is happening as well, one of the other production assistants, uh, Tatsuya is getting, uh, he's in a car with another, uh, another company, another producer from another company where he's being offered a job to go work at studio Kanan. And one of the, someone, someone like sees him as like, Oh, that's weird. Why would he be in that car? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Aoi and Erica have a dis have a discussion about the differences between hand drawn animation and it kind of like starting to get phased out due to three D animation mm -hmm. because that's just how the industry is going in this point and you know it's kind of continuing on even past this when this series series originally and five years ago. Um, and I, I think I asked you a question at this point of like how much of this is done in three D and you're like I'm sure some of it is but mm -hmm. I was just like curious because I was wondering if it was some kind of like commentary but. I think it's just like a, a state of like a a commentary state, on the state uh, of the industry. Yeah, that's what I feel like at this point is what it was. I was just curious. Hmm. Uh, Aoi talks to her one friend who's who is actually her like a 3D, one friend. Her one friend who is a 3D animator, and she tells her about how like she had to study up a lot on like hand drawn animation and to like look at all that to see how it works through like the like an artistic sense and all that sort of stuff, and that's how she's been able to kind of get better at her job with like 3d animation and all that sort of stuff and just creating things in 3d compared to you know 2d and all that sort of stuff so you got that 
Uh, Shizuka gets uh, an invite from her old mentor who comes into like her work and is like, hey, how, how are things going? And she tells her about her failed uh, audition and all that sort of stuff. And so she invites her to this play recital and it's like basically trying to like help her kind of get over it and also like show her like, you know, different things you can do to, you know, get better with your acting and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Which her mentor is doing a, uh, and like an all ladies version of waiting on Godot. Yeah. Which apparently, so, so there is, so with this episode, it was, it it aired originally and then Mm -hmm. afterwards was pulled. Right. Due to, licensing issues there are there are two key rumors about this one is that uh there's gonna be stuff about like this anime called eat upon later in the episode and allegedly they got too close to the actual source material and that's why they had to pull it because obviously japan does not have the same kind of like parody laws as the u.s and everything Mm -hmm. um like if you want a prime example of that like um the first episode of the reboot of the Otsumatsu-san anime was basically like, hey, we're going to parody, like, 20 different animes in this one episode. They aired it, like, the first week, and then immediately it got pulled from all streaming services. It's not gone back up since. So Um, how did, like, Pop Team Epic get away with it? uh, They probably... Well, they I don't think they were actually, like, showing things Hmm. in the same sort of way. Like, they... Like, initially, like, if you, I think the original broadcast, they would either, like, if it was very much, like, they were actually directly ripping it, they would blur it out. Oh, okay. Um, and other times, they would just, you know, change it enough to where they could get away with it. Okay. I was just like, curious. Like, I think on the uh, the home video, like, some of that stuff gets, like, uncensored. Um, I, I think that may be just because it, they brought it over here, they, mm-hmm. they were able to uncensor it, but I don't know if that's the same case over in Japan. Um, so that's one uh, theory that for why this episode got pulled the other theory is that um the dude who wrote uh waiting for godot which i forget his name i'm going to google that real quick uh samuel beckett uh he's the dude who's already he's 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 passed away by this point apparently mm-hmm. in his lifetime he did not like he did not want an all like women version of waiting on godot and basically his estate has kind of kept that up so there was a rumor that they got in trouble with the the beckett estate over this episode and that was the reason why it would have got pulled from streaming which that's disgusting if that's the case right uh neither i don't think either of them have really been ever like confirmed right but those are like the two popular like fan theories about like why this episode would have gotten pulled off of streaming services when after it initially had aired but yeah Which, that, that's that, um, that's it i remember when we were watching this you're like oh hey it is uh it's the one that was pulled i'm surprised it's on here i was like wait what because mm-hmm. obviously they have like you know since then uh kept it on the dvd release and the home video release so mm-hmm. Either they changed something within it um, after it like initially aired and everything, or they just you know they just threw it on the the disc, whatever. Um, I don't know. Like I would have to go back and like try and like it would it would be probably like way too much work, but it's just like you'd have to go back and find like the original airing and see how it compares side by side to the airing that's on like home video and everything. So. Mm-hmm. A lot of work. But anyways, yeah, this this episode did get pulled originally, but I think it is back up on streaming services now, so if you ever wanted to watch it, you could. Um, I but mean, yeah. I, mine was streamed, so. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so following the recital and everything, she's a good talks to Aoi about, you know, how she's having troubles with work and everything and just trying to get through it and everything. Uh, the director comes back and finishes his work. He hear uh, Ryosuke hears from Segawa about the Eat Upon anime and how like it like wanted him to become an it forced it it would inspired him there we go to become an <laughs> animator. Uh, Aoi gives him tickets to this like, exhibition about the show. Um, she also gives tickets to Yuichiro, who is the the three D animator who's working on the same scene as him. So they all so they run into each other along with Taro, who's like all like they're all big fans. 
And they nerd out uh, yeah. hard. <laughs> Ryusuke and Yuichiro are like the ones who are like the biggest fans and like anytime the others like say something they're like, No, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is what really happened. <laughs> um, so like they are able to get over their little like weird beef that they don't really have beef with each other. They just kinda had beef with like their their styles, their styles of animations. Yeah. So they're able to like push past their their beef. And uh, Ryosuke comes back to work. He basically works through the night to get the, the cuts done he needed to do. And then, like, he's leaving as Yurichiro comes in, like, the next day. And, like, they both are like, you know, like, I saw your 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 scene, your take on the scene. And, like, it was really good. And the other one's like, yeah, I, I saw yours as well. And, like, it's probably going to be really great as well. So they kind of, like, have an understanding now. And I think they both say to each other, like, hey, I'd be interested in learning a little bit about your style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they kind of have like a handshake moment of like, all right, this is a truce. Mm -hmm. We're fine now. Yep. And then basically Aoi gets to celebrate because the episode gets finished and everyone gets to, everyone is like, yeah, good job. You're the one who basically handled the situation in the best possible way. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Yay. You didn't mess it up. Yep. So they're able to get through this whole debacle, but, uh, there are still more debacles looming on the horizon. Man, that had to have been stressful. Oh, yeah. Like, that whole entire thing was just not great. But that that will do it for this episode. Which leads us into episode number seven, which is entitled Retake with the Cat. Kitty! Which uh, I believe we have dubbed the next two episodes. You know, we've gone through, we've gone through Crunch... We've gone through anxiety and stress. Um, what else? I feel like we've also gone through something else. Probably. Probably. Uh, but now let's let's talk about imposter system, imposter syndrome next time. Imposter syndrome, the episode. Yep. That's Yay. gonna be a big thing. Yay! Something that we both are very accustomed to. Oh my god! No kidding. Uh, but that will be next time. So if you'd like more from us, go to SeasonalNameCheckup.com or SAC.cool. It's where you can find past episodes of this podcast and other podcasts like Seasonal Name Checkup and Seasonal Name Checkup OVA. And you can find columns and reviews on the site as well. If you'd like more from Anladium, go to Anladium.com. She's got columns and reviews. You can follow us on Twitter, Twitter.com slash Anime Checkup. So next time, join us for episode number seven as we retake with a cat. Learn how to draw about, draw about cats? Draw cats. Draw the kitty.